Hi, I'm Bob Pennell and I'm a member of the Doc Fritchie chapter of Trout Unlimited. Our chapter here serves uh, Dauphin and Lebanon counties and uh, a big portion of our work involves stream restoration. Uh, we also, of course, are involved in uh, conservation education. But we're here today to talk about some of the work that we've done or contracted for here on Spring Creek in Harrisburg. Uh, <clears throat> we're standing in, in front of um, part of the lower project, the third phase of the work that we've completed with uh, growing greener grants from DEP. Uh, this is uh, a pretty amazing watershed because it, it starts in the suburbs north and east of Harrisburg and flows actually through the city into the Susquehanna. Uh, it covers about 11 and a half square miles in area, and uh, <clears throat> the big problem with Spring Creek uh, is that we get tremendous runoff from rain events. Uh, commercial development in the watershed is just uh, rampant right now, and as a result, uh, we're hoping that the kind of work we're doing here is really going to pay off over the long haul uh, in preserving this stream and preserving its uh, habitats, including the trout. We uh, we have noticed a decline over the years in the trout population that existed here, and we're hopeful that uh, through this work we will be able to bring some of that back. Uh, there is a natural reprodu reproducing population, and some of the structures that we've put in here will uh, also help uh, the habitat that we're uh, hoping the fish will spawn. So uh, <clears throat> that that's. In a nutshell, what what we're about, and uh, we uh, we uh, uh, really appreciate the support that we've gotten on these projects, and uh, hope we can count on future partners such as the Capital Greenbelt Association, who've uh, also been been very helpful in uh, uh, helping us work on this project. Hi, I'm standing here on one of the uh, many structures that were placed here in Spring Creek during our Phase 3 restoration project. Uh, phase 3 continues the work that we've done previously uh, upstream. Uh, we've now completed uh, pretty close to a mile, I guess, of uh, natural tra channel type restoration here on, on Spring Creek. And, uh, I thought I'd just point out a couple of uh, features of a typical structure. This, what I'm standing on is called a J-hook rock vein. And what this vein does is essentially control or channel the flow of the water. As you, as you can see the water coming off the pool above, it's actually flowing toward the center and actually going in a path pretty much center downstream. There isn't a whole lot of flow right now. We're doing this at a time when the flow is probably about as low as it ever gets during the year here. Um, the other feature which this structure is supposed to accomplish is to move, transport, and deposit sediment in a controlled fashion. So if we look over on the other shore, you'll see that mound of gravel that's built up, and all that has really built up in just a few months since these structures have been in place. So eventually that'll form part of the bank and again it will create a better channel, uh, a more uh, structured channel to keep future flows moving downstream. If you look downstream, you can, you can see a lot of boulders placed against the bank. This was not in an area where there's a sewer structure and uh, to protect it for the future, this was incorporated as part of our project to uh, actually armor that so that high stream flows won't be a problem in the future. Here we uh, have another J-hook structure and uh, this also illustrates the, one of the principal purposes of creating these structures which is to form improved habitat for the fish and the aquatic species. Uh, when the water is channeled through the J-hook, in addition to uh, forming the channel downstream, it also gouges out a pool and forms a nice structure and a nice resting place for the fish. 
Okay, here, uh, here's another type of structure we built here on Spring Creek. As you're looking upstream, you'll see it's actually a double plunge pool, or what we call a double throat pool rock cross vein. And what that does, what it was designed to do, and what it does accomplish is that above the top vein, it actually pulls the water up so that it deepens it. And with the double step coming down through, it actually increases the velocity of the gradient of the stream. So it actually serves several purposes. Uh, also, you might be interested to know that recently, we, uh, uh, through, through our Trout Unlimited chapter, we supported what is known as the Trout in the Classroom program with a school here in Harrisburg, St. Margaret Mary's in Pembroke. And when the kids were successful in raising trout fry from eggs, we brought them down here last spring and they uh, actually stocked them in the water above the upper throat. We have no idea, of course, how many have survived, if they'll survive, but the kids were really thrilled about being able to put their newly hatched trout into an actual wild trout stream. So we're hoping for the best on that. So all this hopefully will have long-term benefit in, uh, in terms of uh, the future aquatic residents of uh, Spring Creek as well as those that are here right now.